Hey metric coolers, welcome back to another video in our metrical tutorial series. Today I'm going to be talking about our Google integration feature where you will be able to connect your Google Drive straight into the metrical planner and then use those assets to make your content planning process more seamless. Let's go ahead and get on to the tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so let's get into the Google Drive integration tutorial. I am already currently in the planner page of Metricool. Before I get started with the actual demo, I do just want to mention that this is a Metricool premium feature. I will provide a code at the end of the video so that if you are on a free account or considering upgrading, you can try this feature and other premium features for free for 30 days. Now let's get into the actual demo of it all. This is what you will see when you go into the Metrical Planner, and for the most part, it pretty much looks the same with the new integration, but we have added a button. It is right here on the right-hand side. It looks like a little multimedia button. It has a music symbol and, you know, like an image symbol. You're gonna wanna click into that. Now, the first time that you connect your Google Drive, you will see this, and it'll say Google Drive, connect your account and create content in a visual manner. Mine currently says beta, yours won't say beta, but what you will want to do is you will want to click on connect. Once you click connect, you're going to be taken to a brand new tab and it'll ask you to choose an account to connect to Metricool. So if you have a bunch of Google emails, you'll wanna click the one that you want to associate with the current brand that you're looking at into Metricool. So I'm going to click on mine and then it will ask you to grant Metricool additional access to your Google account. Go ahead and read that, click on continue. And from there, you're pretty much done. It is a super simple process, takes less than two minutes, and your Google Drive is connected. And you'll see here, now that button has shown what the Google Drive integration will look like. It's a fairly simple pane, so you'll be able to search in your drive. You'll have the ability to reset, to filter by photo and images, videos, GIFs, PDFs, documents, presentations, and you'll also be able to sort by. And the sort by is name, the last modification made, if you made the last modification, or if it was last viewed by you. So those are all preferences to make searching through your Google Drive easier. And then it'll always default basically to your home page. Right now I have, you know, my drive, my shared drives, and then my starred. These are all separate folders. So I recommend creating folders, especially if you work on a team or you share your assets, just so that it makes it easier for you to find things within your drive. Sometimes, you know, you can put so many things in your drive that makes it kind of hard to find. So this will just simplify the process even further. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my documents that I wanna create a post with. So now that I have found my assets, I'm gonna go ahead and click into the week that I want, however your drive is organized. And then from here, I can choose what images I want to put into my metrical calendar. So there are two different ways you can do this from the planner page here, and I'll show you both ways. It will be completely preference of what you prefer. So the first one is to use the drag and drop feature and selecting one single image or select multiple files is super easy. So here I've already selected one and it says one item selected. You can go ahead and click as many as you want. You can also click clean and it'll clear it. So I'm gonna click on three different graphic and then I will just grab it and then drag on to the planner wherever I want to drop this. So like I said, it's easy drag and drop. I'm gonna click there. You'll see the download progress route begin and then the new post is created. All that's left to do is to add your caption, add any finishing touches and hit schedule. So I could say Google Drive integration is here. And then, you know, I can click on schedule. If I wanted to tag someone, I could do that. You can make all your adjustments, super simple to use the drag and drop feature. So that's the first one. And then this is the other way to do it. So let's say I wanted to upload those same three images, but instead of grabbing them and dropping them onto the calendar, I can just go up here onto create post and click that. You'll see a pop-up and it's gonna say you have selected X amount of files from Google Drive. Would you like to add them to the new post? Click on yes. Same thing, download progress begins and a new post is created. Super simple to use, very seamless process there for both of those. And then the last 
last one that I want to show, I'm going to actually get out of this box. So you can just go ahead and click out of it if you are planning and you don't necessarily want to have that tab open until you're ready to grab your images. It's super easy to toggle on, toggle off. But you can access your Google Drive assets from one other place. So let's say, for example, I want to either create the post or just click into somewhere on the planner. If I'm creating a new post, I can actually add it straight from the normal post creation process into the add multimedia button, click on that, and you'll see here, Google Drive. You click that, your Google Drive will open, and it is a very similar pane, just a little bit more expanded. You can click the images you want, hit accept, same thing, download progress, and it's added there. I do want to mention again, that if this is the first time you're ever using the Google Drive and you're accessing the connection from this page or from creating a new post specifically, you will have to make the Google Drive connection from this step. But if you've already connected it, it should open up like this. I also really quickly want to show how easy it is to switch between Google Drive accounts and to do a disconnect if you want to completely disconnect the integration. So you'll go up here into these three dots and from there you'll find the option to switch account. If you were to click on this, it would open up a new tab similar to the first time you're ever connecting the Google Drive account and it would ask you to pick you know, the account that you wanna link and then you would go through those same steps and then if you click on disconnect, it will just straight disconnect the Google Drive from your planner. So I'll click on that so you can see how quick and easy it is. I click disconnect. It goes back to that main page from the very beginning and you have disconnected your Google Drive. The last thing that I want to show for this integration is actually with our auto list. So instead of being in the calendar, which is right here, you want to click into auto list and you can actually use the Google Drive integration with the auto list. So I will click into one of our examples and then I'm gonna scroll down into our list. So if I wanted to insert a post, it will do right here. You'll see here in the add multimedia option, the Google Drive is also in this section as well. So you could click into it here, look for the images that you want or the files that you want and insert that content into your auto list as well, making it really nice for that reoccurring evergreen content, for reoccurring X posts that you have, blog posts, things like that. Hopefully this will make planning out your content and finding your assets much easier. And of course, if there are any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below this video and I will get to all of them. Don't forget that this feature is a premium feature, but you can use the code TRYFREE. This code will give you 30 days free of any of our premium plans so that you can go ahead and see if this feature is for you. Happy planning, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye. Thank <laughs> you.